It's Thursday morning. It's our third day here. We slept till about 8.30. We both had a good sleep. It was a better sleep than the first night. It's a beautiful morning. The skies are blue and clear. The stars last night were unbelievable. It was such a clear, clear night. And so many stars were visible. It was, it was really something to see. And the water was so calm and still that the reflection of the stars was visible on the water surface. It was really nice. Not sure where the missus is. Hopefully still around. Hopefully a bear didn't take her off or something. I did six. You did six. Yep, and then tomorrow I just dump the rest of this in it. And yeah, you don't even have to count. Yeah. What are you thinking here? Someone's awake. Oh, hi, good morning. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that I've got tired eyes. But... Apparently she has tired eyes. She doesn't have tired eyes. Such a lovely morning. Eh? It's, it's so, so nice. nice. I love it. So much better than yesterday when it was so overcast, right? Mm hmm If you've never had coffee from a French press, especially while you're camping, you are missing out. I would highly, highly recommend, if you're a coffee lover like me, and you're kind of addicted like me, you should get a French press for when you're camping. Or tell me what you guys use when you're camping as well for coffee, if you're a coffee addict like me. I know there's lots of other cool little ways to do it, but this is just what I do. And I'm a huge fan and I see no reason to stop doing it. I know it's a lot to carry that thing in, but it's so worth it to me. I like those. I don't know. I think that's perfect. I think we need to have like cold fires anytime we go. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of a sign when we come here. And yeah, that's a box right here. Mm -hmm. How's your coffee this What's for breakfast this morning? Ah, we'll have eggs. Yep. I think I'll fry yours and then scramble mine. Nice. And then uh, some um, sausage patties. Nice, nice. Maybe a blueberry bagel. Oh, sounds butter. great. Sounds great. That's what it'll be today. Sounds wonderful. Look at this though. It's so nice. Perfection. So this is my work today. I have to cut all this down. I started it yesterday but then got sick of it and wanted to go swimming. So I have to finish it today. We want to burn through most of it if we can. I have a nice long fire tonight. We'll start a fire for supper and hopefully just keep it burning and sit out and enjoy it. The mosquitoes last night. The mosquitoes probably came out at about what 8 o'clock? 8.30? 8.30 and then they were out hard like crazy for probably an hour and uh, yeah but once that hour was done they kind of just disappeared um, out of who knows where they went but as long as you can get through that hour we're finding it's it's okay yeah work is done all the firewood is cut I went and got a whole bunch more birch bark and yeah, we just get to swim and relax and fish and hang out the rest of the day. So, go for a dip, get washed off.
water is awesome. Hey. It's the middle of the day. We got all dried off from our swim and now we're just chilling out and relaxing. See the fishing boat over there? They were the ones that were ripping around on the tube, pulling people on the tube last night. Causing such a ruckus. Oh, Judy so nicely broke up all those twigs to help with fire starter. That's great. Got a ton of birch bark under that stone. A lot more people have showed up and it seems like they're all connected because they keep going from one site to the next talking to each other all the time. So they must all know each other somehow. They probably don't like us being here. Maybe they were hoping to have this site, but too bad. Well, we had ourselves a lovely midday lunch. The missus there, Judy, she did up some pesto uh, sidekicks. What's that pasta called? Parmesan pesto sidekicks. Anyways, very, very good. So, but it's uh, probably approaching 30 degrees C. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. The lake has been busy with a lot of boaters and it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. We're gonna go for another swim. And then hopefully around five o'clock, we'll go out fishing and we'll stay out fishing until, you know, maybe 8.30 or nine o'clock or something like that. Go for another swim and then we'll take you along for the adventure of fishing tonight. It's time for the evening fish. It's just before five, five o'clock in the evening and it's the last night to fish. So Judy hasn't caught a fish yet this trip. So tonight is the night. Such a good woman. What I don't do for my husband so then he can catch get more get more slaunches. But please sponsor my husband. Yeah, that'd be great. Yep. And if you catch something. Oh, <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> if you catch something while I board you over into this area, yep. paddled you over to this area, then I don't have to pay for the rental of the hat. Oh, but you still have to pay for the rental of the chair? Well, oh, that'll come later. Okay. Okay. I love that right when you said that one smashed the tail. <laughs> Fear. I have my good luck charm with me today and everything. I don't know if I'm a good luck charm. I do seem to do better when, when you're not with me. <laughs> I know, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you do awesome, Cass. Goodness sakes. Oh no. How a girl work that plopper. I love the plopper, it's fun. You do love the plopper. Judy just loves the sound of that whopper plopper. It just sounds like it's having fun. It, it does sound like it's having fun. Sounds like it's having a great time. Pretty sure if you were a fishing lure, you'd be a whopper plopper. Oh, I wouldn't doubt but it. like a pink one with sparkles. That would be your fishing lure type. Oh. I knew something was going to happen with that thing sometime. Oh. Get it back out there. Judy had a big blow up on the whopper plopper. Yeah, I figured there'd be something. Nice cast. Look at that. That's perfect. Good cast. Thank you. Good for you. Yay! It might be small. Doesn't matter. Bring it in. 
Good job, hon. <laughs> this is so fun. There, you got your wish, love. Where are you? I just want to see you. There he is. Well, that's a, not a bad one. Very good. Come back. Good job, babe. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. Keep, keep bringing him in. Don't give him slack. Keep bringing him okay. in. I know you're probably thinking the drag is going to. Yes, that's a good one, hon. That's the biggest one yet. Oh Come on. Oh, my word. Babies. I did it. Look at that, hon. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, good job. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you got your PB. Oh, I told you. I'm like, you're gonna get your PB. You just cast towards that. I love it. Oh, that is, that is amazing. So That's fun. a great bass, hon. That's awesome. What a fun fight. Good job. See? Uh, and awesome. your drag was so loose. It was, I okay. uh, I thought it was tighter, but. Yeah. You don't know until you have this. That's it, yeah. That's awesome, sweetie. And you taught me, like, you're like, hey, I do these things. Thanks, fish. Thanks for coming to be my friend. We're definitely weighing them. Okay. Because it's your PB. Okay. And then you're going to hold them. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. 242, so two and a half pounds. That's, that's a fun one. I thought it was heavier, but two and a half pounds. That's Judy's PB, guys. Oh, where am I supposed to be here? Okay. Good job. So you just put your thumb down into his lip, just like I'm doing. Oh, this is so gross. You got to hold him. Steady. Okay. okay. I think I got you it. You want to kind of push up like that. Okay. And look at me and smile. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Good job, hon. Way to go. I'll get a picture off that. Okay. All right. You want to release them? Yeah, sure. See you, bud. Come alive. Yay. Oh, good job, hon. You nailed it. Oh, that was so fun. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That was good, Thanks, babe. Good buddy. job. What a fun guy. See? Like there's I'm gotta so be like, glad. there's gotta be decent bass. So, okay guys, like backstory, that's the best bass of the trip so far. <laughs> like we've been catching nothing but dinks. You have been. Well, like, yeah, and that's, I haven't gotten anything. so that's Judy's first fish of the trip on our last night on the Whopper Plopper. She had missed a couple small ones earlier on this evening, but um, that one slammed the Whopper Plopper a couple of times and she finally got a good hook set in it even though I had her drag a little too loose. Okay. But uh, she was able to fight it and bring it in. So how do you feel? I really liked that fight. See, isn't and it addictive? I just, I feel so confident when you're with me because then you can tell me like, yeah. okay, do this or like, yep. keep it going. Or yeah, yeah, you whatever. don't want to give them slack line. Yeah. Nice, good job, hon, that's awesome. <laughs> good job, babe. Oh wow, that's a good one. Good, Pete. Really good one. Oh, oh wow, oh, that's a good one. It's a really good fish. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> nice, that's a good one. That's nice. I figured like wacky worm, there's got to be something. Yeah. Because he was, they weren't going after top water. Mhm. Mm or he wasn't anyways, but it's like there's got to be something here. Because like those guys are catching something on baits going under the surface so yeah. so then you got them um, um within the lily pads then just on the outside okay good job <laughs> Yay, nice that's awesome <laughs> that was a classic uh like wacky worm bite it's good Good job. Yeah, that was fun. Wow, that was a little better. Judy uh, beat her PB with that two and a half pounder and then not long after that I caught one that was around the same size uh, on a wacky worm. Hers was on the, uh, the old whopper plopper of course. And uh, she fought it like a champ and brought it in and was freaking out. It was fun. It was a good time. So, oh, that was good. Judy, how does it feel to smash your PB? Oh, it's, it's so satisfying. Yeah, it was that a good so experience. Beautiful. Yeah. See, fishing is like addictive and fun. It, you know, 
um maybe for me i'm like okay i i end on a good note whereas yep. you're like i just want to keep on and get better yeah but yeah you're like i'm like, satisfied i'm, I I'm good so happy <laughs> yeah i'm so happy i don't even need to fish again <laughs> well that's saying never i just don't need to sure day. <laughs> anyways yep we do differ a little bit in that way i tend to just keep going and going until i die so oh, that's anyways, okay but, so we're gonna have a lovely campfire tonight yep okay i'm looking forward me too Cleaned out the fridge. Yeah. We want <laughs> uh, sausage again, hot dogs. Yep. And, and reheated mashed potatoes. Yep. Which actually reheating mashed potatoes is harder than what you'd think. Yeah. So I'm boiling water in here with two mugs with the mashed potatoes in the mugs. Yep. We'll see how it goes. It's like, see how she works. Yeah. It's trial and error. So a little update, Judy's method for reheating the mashed potatoes was very successful. It really did work. See here. the mug she's got in there? And then I just like stirred it about. The boiling water inside there and then the mugs are in the boiling water with the leftover mashed potatoes inside the mugs. Perfection. Bring it to a boil, it worked really well. <laughs> Nicely steamed them. Well done, hon. Woohoo, I'm so glad it worked out for us. Nailed it. She's a genius. Okay, folks, I'm going to sign off for today. It's been such a fun day. It was a great day with Judy. It was uh, relaxing. We got to fish. We got some good fish. We swam. Um, we ate some really good food and relaxed really hard, too. So this was what I was hoping this trip would be like. So it, it definitely didn't let me down. It does suck with how crowded the lake has become and the boat traffic and the uh, tubers and, and all that. But, you know that's okay we've learned so if you are gonna do this canoe trip to Queen Elizabeth Wildlands just know that Fishog Lake is very busy even in the middle of the week it's Thursday today and uh, yeah every day it's been really busy so yeah just realize that if you if we do it again we'll probably do another portage or two and go to a different lake but anyways no regrets it's been a really really good time so we're just gonna sit and enjoy the bonfire and then head to bed and I'll check in with you in the morning when we're packing up and head there. Night night. Two loons right there. I'm learning how bad the GoPro is at picking up stuff at a distance. I'm sure you'll see just two little figures on the water, but they're nice loons. Well, good morning. It's our final day here. We've got to pack up and head back and do that nasty portage again. But we had a really good sleep. It was the best sleep for both of us this trip. And we woke up to yet again another beautiful morning with the water being so glass calm. And when we woke up, we woke up to the sound of a canoe paddling by. It was nice. It was a nice sound. Judy slept really good too. She's rustling around in the tent. It was another beautiful night last night. We don't see the stars at home like we do here. There's millions and millions of them. And various shooting stars and 
It's really cool. I forget how many Judy counted last night shooting stars that she saw. There's a bunch. I probably saw three or four. I think she saw five or six. So nights like that make it not fun to go home, but life must go on. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good, I'm just cleaning the house. Cleaning house. Okay, I've got water on. Yeah. Is it oatmeal for breakfast? The oatmeal and bagel. Oatmeal and bagel and coffee. Okay, got a nice little pile of birch bark there. Little twig pile right handy. And a nice pile of dead sticks close by. And that's how we do her. Birch bark is the best kindling you'll ever find. Peel it down into nice thin layers. Put a good base of it down. Light her up. We've had no issues at all getting fires going. Using lots of dead wood and birch bark for kindling. It works great. Well, breakfast is over. It was delicious as always. Judy nailed it again. So we're packing up and it's time to go home. Are you ready for this? No, all good things have to come to an end. Yeah, but that's life, right? We okay. had a great time though. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'll check in when we're on the canoe heading home. Well, goodbye, beautiful campsite. You were a pleasure. Mm -hmm. That was such a good sight. I'm so glad we found that one. We are approaching the dreaded portage, 90 degrees up. I don't know how my husband does it. He makes it look so easy. You are a stallion. Oh. Oh, thank you. Another climb straight down almost. But it's the only one you got to do, so it's not so bad. Okay. okay. Team Wilk. Mm -hmm. Good job. I only encourage you when uh, I'm recording. Yeah, only when I'm when you're recording. I say like nice things when the camera's on. <laughs> but really, we just fight all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's who we are. That's who we are. Yep. <laughs> Set off to the side here. Okay. That is one gorgeous canoe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> and we're off. That's the portage going up. It's intense. It's intense, but. It's all easy from here. Made it through the river onto the main lake. Got a bit of wind against us, but it's not too bad. The fellow we were talking to back at the portage was carrying a cedar canoe that uh, he made, and that was the fourth one that he had made. That's pretty awesome. Good for him. Um, I think I'm gonna wait till the beach. I wonder what time it is. Oh yeah, you said that we'd be back by two. I was, I was back. Yeah, I thought we'd be back at the truck by two or so. Okay, so Judy left this water bottle in the <laughs> truck on Tuesday. It's now Friday, and it was cold then. She's gonna take a drink of it now. This is hot. And uh, see if it's still cold. This would be a good test for this. 
What is it called? It is a vacuum insulated asobu sobu thing. thing. Yeah, there's no ice left. No ice left, but what's the verdict? It's cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. I know, I'm pretty It's proud. actually pretty good for like sitting in the sun for all those days in my hot truck. Woohoo. Cool. Whew. Okay, packed up, loaded up, ready to go by 143. Yeah. Not bad. Now we're going to where? Bob Cajun. To the beach. beach. Yeah, my that, home away from home. Yeah. Yeah, Bob Cage and my home away from home is what she wanted to say before I interrupted her. Um, we're going to go to the beach there, have a swim, clean off, get changed. We have clean clothes ready to go. Then we'll have some supper and uh, head along our merry way. So maybe we'll just sign off here. Sure, yeah, sounds okay. good. Well, thanks so much for coming with us. This was such a fun trip. It was Judy's first canoe trip so fun. ever. And what was the, you, you caught something there. Um, oh, maybe a little bit of a bass? Yeah, she caught her PB. Yeah, PB. My, oh, my PB. She caught her PB on a... Um, on a flopper, wh whopper, flopper. Whopper, plopper. Plopper. Whopper, plopper, 90. <laughs> 90. 90. And she fought it like a champ, so. Anyways, uh, that was a very good memory, and the whole trip was, was great. And the portage back was easier than the way there. We had a bit less weight, and kind of had things figured out. Yeah. Better. Yeah. And uh, so, would you go on a canoe trip again? Oh, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. There we yeah. go. Good. Well, it was awesome. So, thanks for coming along with us, folks. We'll check in with you next time.